Welcome. If you're a new viewer here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we be discussing today: three dead, five injured in Norwood gun attack, man killed in hit and run, and more. A 28-year-old man is dead following a hit and run along the Rio near River Main Road in Saint Mary. The deceased has been identified as Akim Daly, a construction worker of Red Hills Saint Andrew. Daly died as a result of injuries he sustained in the accident, occurred approximately 1:15 a.m. on Saturday. According to reports, Daly was walking along the roadway when he was hit by a vehicle. The driver of the car did not stop. The victim was assisted to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Investigators are pleading to the driver of the vehicle to turn himself in to the Rockabessa police immediately. More often know why one of find it's a hard for drive properly upon the road, but yet still one of find herself in situations like these on a run. What you are run for? You don't know if you could have helped this man the minute you eat him. Meaning, probably if you did help him and him reach the hospital on time, him would have make it. But because you let the man and you run gone about your business, he had to stay there until somebody else find him and carry him to the hospital. Which is not fair. You do the crime, own up to it. It is just as simple as that. Or, what even make it even simpler, when you drive properly upon the road. At this point, you really don't have a reason as to why you are speed on the road at that hour. Because, and I like say, we're still under curfew. Where you have to hurry up for go home or you have to hurry up for go to the destination that you are heading to. No curfew in the day. So what the reason why you drive so fast on the road that you never see said this man was walking along the road. And bear in mind the people. It never stated the man was crossing the road. So obviously, this man was walking on the sidewalk. And the driver lick him down the same way. So just imagine the speed where them did a come and make them could even draw brakes. A time for no realize eh, things I get serious. We're in the season of Lent. Well, I don't know if Lent don't know. But we're leading on to Easter. We don't know say. In these times, I always hear the elders them say, at this time of the year, people did like fly. And really and truly, we've been to see a lot of people have dropped since lately. So all in all for the now, I play a phone apart in being safe, either at home or upon the road. When I take on a time drive, on I go. It do make sense, your speed, once you're late already, nothing what you do can't make it early so it's best you reach and reach safe then you book up in our problems following thursday night's a shooting in marvelous saint andrew which left three dead and another three nursing gunshot wounds the saint andrew south police have listed 13 individuals as persons of interest according to a release from the corporate communications unit law enforcers believe that these persons can assist with an ongoing investigations into the recent incident in the division the individuals are 37 year old courtney ashley otherwise called biggs of abbey close in lee's flat Red Hills in St. Andrew, 37-year-old Anchard Anglin, otherwise called Archie, of Denver Crescent, Kingston 20, 27-year-old Richard Anglin, otherwise called Ho Ho, of Denver Crescent, Kingston 20, 22-year-old Curtis Aldemeyer, otherwise called Mosey, of Kingston 20, a man only known as Alex of Akiwa in Kingston, a man only known as Rookie of Akiwa Kingston 20, a man only known as Sheldon of Greenmead Top Marvelly in St. Andrew. A man only known as Little of Marvelly St. Andrew. A man only known as Sadiq of Marvelly St. Andrew. A man only known as Biggie of Marvelly St. Andrew. A man only known as Petty or Nash of Marvelly St. Andrew. A man only known as Becky. Police are asking these persons to make contact with the detectives at the Unsby Criminal Investigation Branch immediately. A curfew has been imposed in section of St. Andrew South Police Division. The curfew began at 6 p.m. today and will remain in effect until 6 p.m. on Sunday. At around 8.30 last night, six persons were shot. 
three fatally by gunmen in Marvelly in the division. According to the head of the St. Andrew South Police Division, Senior Superintendent Kurt Ricketts, a police team that was in the area responded to the attack and there was a shootout with the alleged gunmen. This led to an high-speed chase which ended in St. Andrew North Police Division where the gunmen abandoned their vehicle and escaped. A gunman killed by his cronies is among three people killed in a late morning attack in the zone of special operations in Norwood St. James. Five including a 13 year old girl were injured when a stray bullet pierced a window to her house and struck her as she prepared for a church. She remains at the hospital in critical condition. The police say it appears that the cronies of the dead gunman took his weapon before they escape. This morning incident makes for the number of murders in zone of special operations. Late last night, a man was also killed. The police believe that this morning attack was a reprisal. The murdered attacker has not yet been identified. The others killed have been identified as Damian Minter, 22 year old, and Leroy Martin, 25, both of Warika Drive. The police say about 10.15 a.m., men armed with high-powered weapon entered the community of Warika Drive in Norwood and opened fire on persons walking along the roadway. During the shooting, Martin was chased and shot to death by the armed men. Minta, who was also shot, was rushed to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he succumbs. Investigators have found over more than 50 spent shells. Right now, I know that little girl there in the hospital and she wonder why me. Me in my house and me get ready for church and look what me end up in a, the hospital in critical condition. And she is just 13 years old. Wanna see what I mean by them gunmen and I have no respect for nobody at all. And them not really care where the bullet won't go once them pull off the pipe and start let it go them not care they really don't care as long as them target get it them not care and if the target not get it them are come back for him so at the end of the day people don't have to try to protect on self in a case like this with this 13 year old girl on the might i wonder what else you can do for protect on yourself and me myself i wonder too because if you're in your house and you just like get ready for god church and something like this happen to you I mean, what else you have to do? Which part else you have to turn? And not just this 13 year old girl, but what happened to the innocent people that did that walk upon the road at the time? They really don't care. Viewers and subscribers, I would love to hear what are your thoughts and all these stories down below in the comment section. Remember, everybody's opinion valid. Because my thought is not always going to be the gospel. So share your one down below. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out to stay blessed and stay safe.